If you like this video, click like. If you want to continue to follow our adventure, hit subscribe. Your support would be greatly appreciated. Hello, Lies on the Road subscribers and followers. Well, my mother told me that I better go start taking some footage of attractions and putting it on YouTube. So, in an effort to appease my mother, which I think we all should do, uh, I, we came over here to a little campsite at the Enon Lake uh, Army Corps of Engineers uh, area. Um, it's called Ford's Well. Now, unlike a lot of campsites, it's more than just camping. It's kind of a historical uh, campsite. Uh, apparently Ford, Mr. Ford, in this area back in 1898, I believe it was, late 1800s, dug a well for his farm animals. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, the camera right now is sitting on the, uh, on the well itself. Um, so he dug this well and uh, turned out the water was reddish and tasted funny. So they had it tested and they determined that it was the that the water had medicinal value reduced uh, cavities number of cavities you had uh, they, they said that made it, uh, made you live longer uh, helped you digest food better um, so people started traveling from uh, to this area all through the early 1900s um, trying to get this water and they would pay money for it and then up there was a town built around it, Water Valley. Uh, it was railroad from one town to the next town. It must have been a lucrative business based on what these uh, park signs are telling us. Uh, it's close to the Point Pleasant where we're staying. It's probably five miles away at most. Uh, I can see the lake through the trees, Enid Lake, but I have no idea how you could walk down there. I think you would have to drive to... Uh, Point Pleasant or one of the other areas. It's big for, uh, for horses apparently. Um, it has horse tie-offs, lots of information about horses, horse trail. Now you see this building behind me, it's an old uh, farm building. They're uh, I guess trying to develop this area just to uh, uh, display some old farm houses, farm implements. Um, uh, in the footage that you're seeing now, you're going to see some farm implements, uh, old uh, hay storage area. About the park itself, it has full hookups. Uh, it doesn't have uh, sewage at the campsite. There's a dump station you have to come over to. Um, has a restroom with a shower. Don't know if it's hot water though. Uh, but the, uh, the, the restroom is air conditioned and apparently heated, which is cool. Uh, Cell signal, I did not have any uh, T-Mobile service. I did have AT&T uh, internet access. And it was fairly quick, so I'm guessing it's 4G. Uh, lots of activities here, well I say lots of activities. There's a nice little shelter, day use shelter. Uh, it's very nice. You bring your family down here, maybe a family reunion, there's a playground. Anyway, it's a nice little area. It's, uh, if I haven't said it, it's $16 a night. Um, of course, we just came over here so we could see the attractions. Um, so, anyway, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe! There's buttons everywhere. Uh, click like if you like the video, and we'll see you next time.